Hey, today I want to talk about net worth. It's a very important measurement of where you're at financially, and a lot of people don't even know what it is. So how do you define net worth? Well, net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. That equals your net worth. Well, what are assets and liabilities? Assets would be anything that you own of value. So you've got maybe the value of your home, the value of your 401k at work, the amount of money in your savings and checking accounts, any stocks or bonds that you own. Do you own a rental property? These are assets. Liabilities would be debts, things like the home mortgage, things like credit cards, student loans, car loans. These are liabilities. So your assets, everything you own, minus your liabilities, everything you owe, equals your net worth. It's very important to understand your net worth and what that number is because it's a measurement of how you're doing financially. Now, lesson number one on the net worth is don't cheat yourself by counting cars and furniture as assets. Technically, you could say, well, yeah, my, my car has value, my furniture has value, but I really think you're cheating yourself if you count those items in the asset column because those are rapidly depreciating assets. And even if you sell your car, because they go down in value, but even if you sell your car and you get money out of it, you probably need to buy another car anyway. So, or, you know, you sell your furniture, you can only get 25% at most, 25% of what you paid for it. Well, where are you gonna, what are you gonna sit on? What are you gonna sleep on? Don't cheat yourself by counting cars and furniture as assets. Second lesson on net worth is that saving and investing that you're doing on a monthly basis can be undone if at the same time you are accumulating debt over here. So I might be adding money to my retirement plan at work every paycheck. Yay, that's great, okay, I'm building my asset column. But at the same time, if I'm going out and buying a bunch of stuff with credit cards and not paying off those credit cards because I'm spending you know, more than I can pay off every month, now I'm building the asset column over here, but I'm building the liabilities, the credit card debt over here, I am undoing what I'm accomplishing over here. So don't undo your savings and investing efforts by getting yourself into debt. And then finally, the third lesson on net worth is don't be afraid of having a mortgage on your home. There are a lot of people who are afraid of that. Oh no, I've got this mortgage. I don't wanna have a mortgage. I gotta pay it off, pay it off, pay it off, pay it off. Well, you know what? Having mortgage debt is not the worst thing in the world. You know, if I have $200,000 of mortgage debt, but I have a million dollars of assets, I might have a higher net worth than the person who has no debt and no assets, right? Debt is not necessarily bad if it's low interest debt, like a mortgage, if it's under control, and if you have assets. You gotta look at the big picture, you've gotta look at the net worth, not just how much you have in debt, but how that relates to the rest of the picture. So why not calculate your net worth today? Why not start looking at that periodically? Because you wanna see that number increase. It's a very basic but important measurement of where you're at financially.